This is every single enchantment to the highest level done. Let's have a look. Oh my god, okay. Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video, I bring you an updated version for the best modding app for Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version. Now, yes, I've done this video before, but I get a lot of comments every single day saying, hey Echo, can you do an updated video? So that is what we are doing today. Now, this is working as a version 1.16.201. This app is completely free and it has some pretty awesome features. Now, I wanna make a disclaimer. Guys, doing this on servers or realms will get you banned. So do not use it on servers and realms. It will get you banned. Unless it's an anarchy server, then in that case, go and cause as, as much chaos as you can. So this is for Android. I will do an updated video for iOS as well. Let's just close down Minecraft. So I mentioned to you guys in my last video that MCP Master has closed down. And it has closed down. It's not available anymore. I used to love that app. In fact, guys... Minecraft Earth is also about to close down as well. Minecraft really isn't doing very well, is it, guys? But today, we're checking out this, which is just Toolbox. Now, you will need to already own Minecraft, otherwise it will not work. But let's load up Toolbox, and let's check it out. So once you've loaded this up, you know you've done it correctly, because you'll have this really weird button, which gives you access to a lot of different things. I've never tapped it on the main menu. Yeah, so tapping it on the main menu shows what is available, although you can't really do anything on the main menu. So throughout today's video, we're going to check out all the features because it does have some updated features. I'm just going to do this in a single player world, but again, this will work on Anarchy servers if that is allowed, or Anarchy, or Anarchy realms if they allow that as well. If you want to download, it's down below. So for the sake of today's video, I'm not going to change anything like survival or anything apart from just keeping... Um, day or oh, I'm gonna have activated cheats on and I'm gonna enable always day. There's no behaviors pack that needs to be enabled or resource pack. It's all done with this app. So in this case guys, we're ready to create this world. My absolutely favorite feature with this is having a mini map. I've always wanted there to be an add-on or a mod that enables a mini map. Granted the mini map on this is absolutely huge but I'm, sh I'm pretty sure we can change this. Um, and I think by default, this will actually show you like mob health. It does. I think that's a fish or is it a drowned? Yeah, it actually shows you the drowned health as well. I, I actually don't want to go over there. <laughs> I just realized that we're in survival and not creative. Uh, let's back away over here. So depending on how you want to play this depends on where you want to put this, this little button here. I typically usually put it over here or on the top left just because it's out of reach of you tapping it by mistake. Now, tapping on this opens this. We have a whole range of things available. I'm in survival. If we tap fly, we now have the ability to fly. Now, I don't know if this is going to kill me. Yeah, so be very careful if you're using this in survival because you're going to get yourself killed. Now, no clip gives you the ability to go through work, like go through blocks. This might kill me though. No, we're good. Nope, it will kill you. So that's something you don't want to use in survival. Um, it's kind of like spectator mode. It is pretty much spectator mode, but we're not in creative right now. So I'm going to uh, not do that right now. We're going to have no clip off. Phase? I can't remember what this one does. Oh, this does basically the exact same. But again, it's going to kill you. <laughs> so yeah, turn that off. Air jump. So this is new. Now, air jump, guys, is where you tap your jump button. And you could go, like, you could just keep going up. Although it seems to be, yeah, okay. It's not, it's, we're not doing very well here. Change your plan. No, I'll leave it. I'll leave it like this. But if you just tap it, you're able to like double jump. We're flying again. Hold on, I should probably turn off fly, fly off, air jump on. And I think it's so cool. You just like hover. Although it seems to take damage at certain points. But you could just tap it, and like if you want to go across a river like this, it's like yeah, I don't feel like swimming today. <laughs> Straight across the river. That was pretty new. That was not there last time. But wait, wait, we have a donkey. Let's go and say hi to the donkey. Because it actually has mob health. One of my favorite things in any Minecraft version is knowing how much health a player or a mob has. We have high jump, which you can change this to however you want. But like, like I said, be very careful with some of these because you will take damage. Uh, you can change this. So I think we can do it to this one. Yeah, it's much better. And you've also got speed. I got the need 
for speed. Even faster in, in, in water as well. Now, this right here, you see this, guys? This will actually show you what chests are available. So, like, if you're in an anarchy server and you're trying to find hackers or cheaters again, then if we go down here, which, for the sake of today's video, I'm going to put myself in creative real quick. If we go down here, it's going to show... This has got to be a dungeon. There's two of them. It's either a dungeon or a mine shaft. I'm going to say a zombie spawner. It's a spawner, all right. Hey, it's zombie. They're always common. So, yeah, it's just the best way to find things. And what do we have inside of here? Golden apple. And inside of here, garbage. So, this is how fast you are. Just able to run as fast as you want. Wait, you know what the perfect combination is? High jump, air jump, speed multiplier. Jump! <laughs> I feel like a goat. My god, this is perfect. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to tone that down a bit. That's off, that's off, that's off. We have auto sprint, which I don't know how the auto sprint works, to be honest with you. I could never figure this one out last time. But it doesn't doesn't seem to auto sprint. I mean, I think fast sprint is better. Oh wait, it's trying to it's trying to make me sprint. Go. 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 Nope. Nope. Doesn't want to do it. You've got no bow slowdown, which we need to grab ourselves a bow. I need to see this. I think you see this. I think this is a lot better in survival, right? But if we fire this, um, let's try it in survival settings, survival. Can we like, can we like tap it? I've got, I've got no arrows. What a loser. Okay, let's try it again. So fire. There's no slowdown. Do we have it enabled? We do have it enabled. Eh, okay. Slow falling. Now, that's a really, really cool one. If we do high jump and we jump, I'm still taking damage, though. That's a weird one. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> Let's not get myself killed. But anyway, you have slow falling. If you have potions and stuff enabled, like, then that's fine. So we're going to get rid of that and the high jump. You've got walk on water. Anyway, let's let's just walk on water, you know? Like, yeah. It's more floating than anything else. Who needs frost walker? When you could do this. You've got blink, not a clue. Elytra fly. Wait a second. Elytra fly plus this? Um. Nope. There's gotta be a way though. How do you activate my uh, Elytra on this? Do I have the Elytra fly enabled? I do. But anyway, you've got tap to teleport. This one's pretty good too. Tap. Come on. Come on. Tap. I mean, it's not super productive, but it's it's another feature available. Okay. Let's go back to creative because I'm sick and tired of dying in this world. You've also got a server mode as well. Tap to teleport. So tap to teleport by default is just for survival. And then you've got no fall damage. Why did I not enable this from the start? High jump, we've got slow falling. Now we can do these in survival. No fall damage, bro. No. Something, something doesn't like this. Something, something really doesn't like this. I think after a little bit of time, you'll get used to it, but like... <laughs> Things, yeah, we'll stay in creative for now. Moving on to a couple other things. We have world, which you have a uh, bridge builder and chest dealer. Now, if you tap on this, guys, there is a premium version for this app. However, if you watch an advert, you get 15 minutes of premium, which I think is quite useful. I know it's annoying watching an advert, but hey, it's free to do so. So if you wanted, again, to be a bridge builder, you have to watch an advert. Same for the chest dealer. We have nuke here. What does the nuke do? Oh, Oh, that's probably not a good idea. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, that is one way to destroy people's bases, I guess. Oh god, that's good. Dude, that's gonna be so cool for mining, though. Get down to... Get down... Oh my god, that's so laggy, though. Probably not a good idea to mine super, super fast. At least it does it, like, in a perfect square, though. I like that. What is it, like a 4x4 four four kind of radius? Maybe a little bit different. So, nuke is dangerous, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, we have, oh, you have range as well. Let's do the smallest range. Let's try this. Ah, so that's a three by three. Now we can see. So it's a three by three, five by five, or seven by seven. Okay. So let's see, let's see the differences in this one. Let's do one here. So that's not, uh, the three by three really isn't that laggy. 
Kind of reminds me of like some of the, the mods that I played on PC. So this one won't be as laggy. Still seems to destroy all the ores though, but if you've ever wanted to get down to bedrock in seconds, this is literally going to be the way. I'm going to go all the way down though. Yep, yep. Probably not a good idea. But hey, how to break bedrock in seconds. We're going to turn that off. We have haste, force achievements, which I don't want to do. Rapid build, which... Uh, the rapid build is something I don't want to go into detail. This video is online for you to do the rapid build. You've got command mode, rapid build v2, give items. Haha. -ha. Okay, so you've got blocks here. At the top though, you can select blocks or tools. Oh, we can give ourselves full netherite. Add, 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 and add. Let's give myself a netherite sword too and a netherite axe and... Um, what else do I want? There's nothing too else, too much else in here. You've got items. Give yourself with the skulls and the dragon heads. Is there any like unobtainable blocks in here? Yeah, kind of at the bottom. So you can give yourself fire. Okay. So we could equip this. So bam, bam, bam. Uh, I didn't get myself boots. Okay, no worries. Uh, and then sword. Okay, so we're holding a sword. Let's turn off rapid build for now. Um, and haste as well. So, obviously for survival, makes it basically like creative. Let's just show you guys in survival. There we go. Oh, probably should move that. That's the problem. Ah, that's the problem I noticed. Don't put it top left, guys. But you can like insta build, insta mine with it. Even with an axe. Basically using like a shovel. We have fire! Which is not animated in your hand and it really bothers me. Uh, so we'll turn off haste for now. We've got enchant. Hold on a second. Let's go to sword. Let's go to enchant. And let's do max absolutely everything. And I want to see what happens when we kill a cow. This is every single enchantment to the highest level done. Let's have a look. Oh my god. Okay. Curse. Let's. Wait, that, you're not a... You... How much stuff do you give me? Oh my god, that is one way to fill up your whole entire inventory with no problem at all. Feeling hungry? Just gonna kill one cow and fill my whole entire inventory with, with steaks. What about piggies? Sorry, piggy. Goodbye. How many pork chops did we get there? Three and a half stacks worth of pork chops. Wait, we could also enchant the fire. Okay. <laughs> that fire is like... Dangerous. Absolutely dangerous. You could even do like a stick. If you wanted to max out a stick or a dead bush. Hiya! There you go. And we're never gonna go hungry in a Minecraft world ever again. So you have MBT editor, which is hidden as well. You've also got spawn XP. Oh my god, dude, how high oh my days, look how high this goes. I'm giving myself a thousand XP levels. Okay, maybe a thousand is a little bit too much, but 500 plus is okay. Now, I want to show you guys the reach. Uh, this reach and the reach online. So, again, if you're using online. And you've got name override as well. So, I'm guessing you can name something if you wanted to. Let me watch this and try and watch an advert real quick. So, for some reason, guys, the adverts are not working for me. So, we'll forget about that one. My favorite inside of here is basically what I showed you already, like chest ESP. So, if you look down there which i showed you guys before we have it off and on um player esp which will help find players traces which these are like next level modding this is literally like le next level cheating and again on an anarchy server this will literally locate entities or anything nearby I think this is quite new actually don't remember seeing this last time and you've got size as well so yeah probably the smallest ones are the better ones keep it at that one i think you've got Mob color? Oh, you can change the mob color. Uh, I would say mobs Mobs would be like a, a green for me, I guess. Yeah, and then you've got like player color. Players would be red for me. Because if you're playing on an anarchy server, that is probably how you would have it. You've got like entity outlines. You've got free cam, which, what does this do? Oh, okay. This is spectator mode, pretty much. Yeah. If you had night vision, that would make life so much more easier with this one. Um... You've got full brightness. Oh, that, that works. These are perfect together, right? There you go. Let's see if we can find any loose diamonds. There's got to be some down here lurking. There you go. We found diamonds. Didn't take long at all. 
So yeah, that's like spectate mode is something that all the bedrock community has always wanted. Being able to do it with this man makes life so much easier. Uh, but I'm gonna turn that off for now. We don't need that. You've got armor hood, which where does it where does it put the armor hood? I can't remember what it shows you. But if we have this on, I can't remember what it shows you. You've got XP bars for mobs. You've got mini map. Now, like I said, guys, the minimap is great, but on this one, it's quite too, it's a little bit too big, right? So minimap, I would probably reduce mine. 80 is way too small. By default, it's like two there. I'm going to put it like halfway. I think that's a lot better. And you've also got size as well. So I think a reduced size is probably better. So like five. So you know, like the nearby biomes. I mean, let's have a little look at what it looks like on full. I mean, I guess it's okay being on full. You can see which biomes are cl close. You know, there's like a little bit of a forest over there. There's mountains and snow over there. You've got a little bit of water over there. So that's quite helpful. Uh, you've got text. I don't know what this is, dude. I don't know what this one is. Text. Truncate. Not sure. Zoom. Who needs who needs Optifine when you've got this zoom? And that's pretty much all of it. And it's so useful, dude. It's incredibly helpful. The traces are one of my favorite inside of there. Uh, but one more thing I want to mention, guys, is we do have shortcuts. And you can simply access things a lot faster if you just want to tap them and stuff like that. So overall, guys, yeah, like it is a modding app. It's used for modding Minecraft. But I feel like sometimes we need these kind of things. Like I mentioned, disclaimer at the start, don't use them on Realms. And don't use them on servers unless it's an Anarchy server. And apart from that, I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye.